We're shaking, folks. Back with another reaction. Back with some more Duran Duran. And we're back with Secret October 31st on October 31st. Uh, people will know the original Secret October I ended up having in my 80s vinyl collection, the Union of the Snake uh, 12 inch. So after listening to that, as well as a couple other Duran reactions before that, I think Rio and Hungry Like the Wolf, and shout out to Izzy World and some other Duranis who very quickly joined the journey and began informing and guiding me in that respect. I ended up re reacting to the original Union of the Snake, which is a pretty short track, or not Union of the Snake, sorry, Secret October, uh, which is a pretty short track. I think it's just under three minutes. I enjoy it. It's atmospheric. It has already a bit of nighttime feel. There's references to parties and all-night cocktails, and it feels like the type of track that would lend itself very well to the idea of spirits rising up on All Hallows' Eve, causing mischief and dancing, you know, into the um, throughout the evening into the early morning. So it feels like already a good choice to cover their own tune. And once again, shout out to Izzy World, who sent me an interview with Nick, which I will briefly quote from here. Uh, but he was talking about the Secret October um, original. It's never actually been on an album. I'm quoting him here. So instead of just doing a copy, why don't we make it something special? I had this musical box that I had bought years ago that I wanted to use on something I could program. It started out from that once I figured out we could make that pattern. Simon didn't like it for a while because I had changed some of the chords underneath on how it worked with the melody. He had a very good point on some of it, so we battled over that for a while until we came to a compromise on the ones that really worked. As ever with the band, our arguments usually end up making a song stronger. I would, uh, without even knowing the inner details of that, that tends to be the case with creative endeavors, right? Uh, but elsewhere in the interview, he talks about how Andy isn't on the original Secret October, and he says, quote, back then it was just Simon and I. We had to do it overnight for the B-side for Union of the Snake, and no one else was around, so we just made something, and that was that. With Andy playing on it this time, it was nice to bring the whole thing round into this circle. Simon went over to Ibiza, where Andy has a studio, along with Josh Blair, our engineer and co-producer. They worked with Andy for two or three days and did about eight tracks. Um, so yeah, ultimately, uh, it does sound... Oh yeah, so he says here... Um, oh, this is just talking about you know, which songs they decided to include. So, yeah, he wanted to uh, rearrange it, he wanted to flesh it out and bring in other members rather than just him and Simon. And ultimately, yeah, it'll be nice to hear, you know, the founding member, one of the founding members of Duran, who was around at the time but wasn't on the track. Uh, and again, same thing with JT and Roger. So, ultimately, it'll be cool to hear um, a revitalized and perhaps expanded version. I also noticed when I queued it up just now, it is longer. It's like four and a half minutes. So let's find out what they've done to it. This is Duran Duran. The track is Secret October 31st, and it's on the 2023 album Dance Macabre. Mystical atmosphere. 
I really like the original. It's a tune that, you know, since I've come to understand more about the group and so on, it is one I go back to, um, but I think this is a very good fleshing out and addition. Uh, so on this one, because I forgot, hello there. So yes, right as I took out the booklet and I was going to describe the credits on uh, this version of Secret October 31st, or this version of Secret October, which is Secret October 31st, um, the video cut out, I do apologize. I did want to mention on Supernature, because I forgot to look at the credits after that reaction, and I'm sure people have already commented on that reaction, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, Niall Rogers was on guitar along with Andy Taylor on that one, so shout out to Niall. Um, and yeah, as I did the reaction to Dance Macabre, you know, like a couple weeks ago, I should mention that, um, uh, Mr. Hudson uh, produced that one in addition to Joshua Blair. So, shout out to them. But yes, for Secret October 31st, um, it was produced by jo Duran Duran and Joshua Blair, guitar Andy Taylor, back in vocals Anna Ross and Rachel O'Connor. Um, and yeah, it lists all five of them in this case as being on this one. So again, I do think we heard Roger there when it went into that big percussive explosion, which is fantastic. Probably my favorite part. It was already like, again, paying homage to the original while being a fuller tune and then when that part came in it went to a level that I wasn't expecting at that moment so um, yeah shout out there so yeah uh, really cool version longer fuller um, more dramatic but still captures that um, you know a bit of overnight or you know night owl type of mischief and again I think some of the lines like even if they're used as like similes or metaphors I think they work very much with the themes at play on this album so big shout out to Duran Duran big shout out to all of you I hope you all have a happy Halloween uh, and yeah I'll be back soon for more videos and yeah be safe out there I'll see you next time peace <laughs>